Hi, it's me again with Krill Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this logo and asked how you would engrave it on a stainless steel tumbler. Well, I don't know if they mean stainless steel and then you uh, spray it with Enduromark uh, to get black. Uh, but I'm guessing that's what it is. So this is the original size of the logo. It's pretty big. And you can see there's a lot of stuff down here in the bounding box. So with that selected, I'm going to take the crop tool and I'm going to crop out just the logo. I personally think that helps Corel not have to deal with all that other white stuff. And then I'm going to just reduce it in size. I've already got one here. So we'll just use this one. Pretty hard. Uh, this is kind of what I came up with. You could maybe add a little more detail, but everything in this would engrave. And text normally doesn't engrave very well, but this this is, you can see it's 962. So we're just gonna leave it as a color in outline trace and clip art. <clears throat> and you get to that. Now we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna move our trace copy over there. And you, you can tell it's our trace copy because there's no bounding box or grave hidden box behind there. Now you can see the text did pretty good, but what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and go, go to object, ungroup it. And then I'm gonna find out how big this thing is. It's, it's really less than an inch, so I'm gonna set my nudge factor on an inch. And I'm gonna take the R, I didn't, I must not have changed it to an inch. There we go. So I'm gonna move everything over, group all that. The text really did good. Hopefully it didn't get in your hands. And then I'm gonna make sure this is all black. So I'm going to, uh, left click black. As you see, I've got some curves in there that it filled everything in so we don't have to really do it to the text because we need to do our yellow box trick left click right click object order back a page and you can see the white so i think it's all taken apart so we could just delete those little specks of white because if you don't do that it, it could possibly engrave and we don't really need to turn them black anyway because they're already black, but we need to check, see what black they are. And they are RGB, so we're good. So we're just gonna take that text and turn it black. Now we can get rid of our box. So because we've nudged, we can keep nudging stuff over. I'm gonna try to get the young lady's hair. It did pretty good. We don't probably need that part. I am going to immediately take this part and use the shape tool to get rid of this stuff down here that I don't really want right now. That I, I've already done this, so I know what it's working. I'm gonna left click and turn it into a line. I'm gonna take these two and basically, excuse me, right click, turn them into a line. Then I've got just her hair. And if you look, her eyeballs are not bad. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt to bring in a yellow box trick, just see if there's any white in those eyeballs and probably leave it there this time. And there's not because we nudged it over. Now I'm gonna take her other eye and nudge it over and even take that brown section. And then we're gonna look at it, see what it looks like. I'm gonna take that brown section away. I'm just gonna delete it. Now at this time you could clean this up you know, you could clean it up a little bit. Look at the node. Looks like there's a um, twisted node or a node right there. You can see it's twisted when we move that. So maybe, see how it's twisted? So you could move one of your arrows or you could just delete one of those nodes. And also maybe use a smoothing tool and kind of smooth out that eyebrow. Now, the rest of it is just personal preference and uh, what you think. She's got on a mask. So what we could do is 
let's uh, let's actually move the mast up. All the all parts of the mast. And I just wanted to get it out of the way. Now I'm going to combine this mask, make it all one color, and I'm going to left click, right click, and make it outline. <clears throat> and that really doesn't look too bad. I might want to take this shape tool and get rid of this part of the upper part of the mask. Because what I'm trying to do is get an outline. And we could do this or just delete it with the virtual segment delete key. I know I keep calling it a key, it's not a key. It's a, a knife. Whoop, that's too much. But, and you could leave it like that. It is a, let's see how thick the line is. It's a hairline. See, that's gonna be too thick. So let's cancel that. Let's take away this interior line. Those other lines are connected evidently, so we'll have to be careful what we're doing. And then what I want to do is I want to get the shape of the mask. I'm going to go too far here in a second and delete. No, nope, it's working. Now at this time, you could take the shape tool and just start deleting some of these nodes. You know, like there's some double lines there. Uh, we could keep that and don't really even have to join it. Let's get rid of all these nodes. And if we delete the nodes instead of using the virtual segment delete key, it ought to work pretty well. We're almost done. All I really want is the inside shape of the mask. There's a node right in there I don't like. See, it's kind of it's a turn around the wrong way. We'll just select all that. Now at this time we could use the smart fill tool, fill that in. That gave us all the good nodes are now selected. And now we can, because we've nudged, we can nudge it down and over and put it on our face. And then at this time is when you're gonna find out you know, what size you want. That's still a hairline. You have to make it something other than a hairline. And you could do that, or you could uh, contour it. Let's go to effects and contour that mask in just a little bit to the inside. That looks pretty good. And then, you know, hairlines will not engrave. And you could... I've never really tested with something less than 0.5, but you could type in 0.25. And then your line is a little bit thicker than a hairline. I would test that on some wood. I've never really done that. And now we can get rid of their body. We need her neck. So what I'm going to do now is take a rectangle. Well, you know, we might better just use the boundary tool and make a bound. I've got a hidden D in there from the inside of that R, I guess. Use the boundary tool and nudge that over. <clears throat> and see what we did? We got her pretty well done. I'm going to take the shape tool and delete these nodes, delete these nodes and do the same thing Grab those two nodes, right click, turn it into a line. I don't really want them there. I just want the shape. So now we got our shape of her body. And you could double click on that, make it black. I'm using something from last night, document palette, but it doesn't matter. Then make it that half inch. Now at this time you might want to work on her hands. <clears throat> you could make her shoes, you know, black. Uh, it's pretty important, I think, to have the cestoscope. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the, all the cestoscope parts and just nudge them up. It's almost going to be easier to take a, a new circle and make that end of the cestoscope. But I've nudged them all up so they're up here by our mask. And I'm just going to now take everything and make it black. 
Now, I would personally take this and delete all these nodes. And just take us and see the same thing. Right click, turn it into a line, just stops it. And then take a take a line and you can either have it hollow like that or make the whole thing black. Personal preference. Then you like maybe clean up the stethoscope a little bit with the smoothing tool. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger. You got to remember when you're working little, everything's pretty little. Now I messed that up, but we can actually take away that inside line. Whoop. But you get the general idea. Uh, let me just back up, leave that inside line. That'll work. And then maybe group it together, control G, nudge it over and down. And, and you could keep going. You know, you could put a waist, you know, she's got on a waistband. Um, you could do her shoes, but you know, on her shoes, you could just take your um, three point curve line and give it a little bit of a curve. Now I'm not gonna leave that line there. It is a hairline. And then just take your smart fill tool, set it on black, and fill in that section. Then at this time, you could grab those two lines and just delete them. Anyway, on a stainless steel tumbler with Enduro Mark or some product like that, you know, I would, it, that's what it's going to look like, just like that. I would maybe take the shape tool and, you know, elongate maybe some fingers just to whatever. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.